Hello everyone, uh, it's Prat from Ratko Tarot and uh, in this whole video you are about to hear the forecast in terms of love and career as well uh, for your star sign uh, for the week 7th to 13th of September 2020. As always, if you are interested in a private reading with me, uh, you can go to my website and purchase a service uh, from there. The site can be found in the description down below. And as well, um, as Tarot is about a, a knowledge and uh, you're interested into the knowledge and you want to get it from me, uh, there are eight Tarot classes available at the website as well. Currently for the upcoming week, uh, the Tarot class for the Major Arcana is going to be on a flash sale, reduced cost with a 30%, uh, dropping it from $150 to $110. So if you are interested into that, message me on my Facebook page and I'm going to provide you with a link regarding the flash sale. That being said, lay back and uh, enjoy the show. All right, so uh, that is going to be a Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well a uh, Gemini Rising, a weekly general tarot reading in terms of love and career. Now, the first thing that we're going to have a look at, guys, um, it will be your career, and the reading is going to show a aspects, potentials, uh, as well affinities. Uh, if you don't think that they suit you then do as you see fit for yourself. Uh, now, with that being said, the first card that we do have in terms of your uh, love and relationship, uh, Gemini is going to be the Magician card. Moving next, we do have the Tree of Pentacles, followed by the Page of Pentacles, and the last one here, that will be the Tree of Cups. <laughs> now that, oh my God. Uh, this one reflects mainly those that are entirely single, those that, that doesn't even have a glimpse of, um, you know, emotions right now. And it pretty much uh, speaks that, you know what, I do had uh, recently a reading about it, uh, not reading about it, but on a similar topic, where somebody asked me, am I ever going to find love? and love is around you we just have to open your eyes and see it okay that's that's the whole point of of this particular reading the reading shows that you do already have a let's say archetype uh, under archetype i mean and an individual that is around you who likes you and accepts you for who you are I don't want to change you. They don't want to, um, you know, uh, have a, a certain crit. They don't have a certain criteria that wants to enforce on you. They don't want to uh, lock you up in a cage and these kind of stuff. They just want to be with you. That's uh, that's the whole point. Uh, this person should be somebody that uh, you pretty well know. Okay, um, probably you are hanging out on a daily basis or you're speaking on a daily basis. It could be a coworker of yours as well. You know, it could be a very good friend. Also, uh, the bottom line is that there is nothing here to be negotiated anymore. I mean, it's pretty much that that guy or that girl knows that they do want to be with you, and that's that's about all that there is to it. Um, do you wanna go? Do you wanna be with them? That's uh, that's the whole. That's the bottom line of uh, of the whole uh, reading. Now, obviously, those that are having already a person of interest, that will be a tough week for them, especially if they come to awareness who this one is. Okay, I mean this one, your friend, uh, because uh, what happens here? It's like a love triangle where you already have emotionally invested into somebody, and you do realize that somebody else emotionally invested in you, but you are closed for the one that is emotionally invested in you, and it's uh, it's. It's a bad situation, okay? It's it's a disgusting situation. I hate those kind of situations. I don't know about you. Uh, there are those who, of course, like those kind of situations. There are people who love to be in a drama triangle and something like this. But uh, important thing here for uh, you, Gemini, is by the end of the week to... Um, Uh, oh my god so it's important for you to go along with the one not to be i was about to say to be but that's not exactly the uh, the state you should be with uh to go along with the one that shares your vision okay it shares 
the same it wants the same thing that you do want because otherwise even if things happen at it doesn't look like that it will be a harmonious moving forward into the future. You want one thing, the other one wants the other. Ah. And definitely the uh, the associate of yours that you do have definitely wants the same thing that you do because they simply want you, they don't want anything else from you that is. And therefore, whatever you say, go, because they are to be agreed to everything that you do propose. Cause pretty much your happiness is to be their happiness as well so they will not mind doing things you like for they are going to like them uh, they are going to like them as well now those that are within a relationship yo uh, they have to prepare themselves throughout the week to have a serious serious talks with uh, their partners uh, husband or wives um, partners in life um, and these talks are not necessarily going to be uh, bad and poignant and stressful as well, but they're going to be open. Uh, under open, I mean that uh, there will be no fake obligations. Like uh, what I'm trying to say here is like you agree with something your partner says, but you are, you are agreeing it, you're agreeing with it just for the sake for the argument to end. Uh, but in reality, you are not very happy of it and you are not agreeing with it at all. So that's what I mean under a open conversations. And uh, by the end of the week, you should pretty much find a common ground for the most part of how that relationship is to move forward in the future. If you are in a uh, just a relationship, you know, it's not committed or anything, it's very possible that you may even think and start talking of going deeper into it, like engagement, you know, uh, marriage, children, etc, etc. But this is just only going to be talking about it. It's not going to be the actual event. Although it may happen, the reading just only disclosed that it will be just a conversation, uh, conversation about it. Uh, but just for your conclusion here, I want to say to you, Gemini, you need to go by with your uh, with your devotion. Okay, you should not bend it, or rather, like bend yourself to do stuff that you don't that you do not find progressive for yourself, for your love, and for your uh, relationship life as well. So that was uh, that was your uh, relationship and love reading, a little bit philosophical, but. It is what it is. So let me shuffle the cards and see what uh, you are to experience in terms of a career. Right, so in terms of career, the first one is going to be the two of wands. Uh, moving next, we do have the nine of pentacles, uh, followed by uh, the world card. And the last one, uh, that will be the temperance. Uh, it's a good and a, it's a pleasant and unpleasant. Uh, that is because for what it seems, you are going to be rather quite successful in terms of your career. That success, however, is going to uh, come with a crown of thorns. Okay, uh, but what I mean is that the success is going to uh, come up with uh, obligations and chores that you will not going to be able to avoid. No different than uh, striving to a, a promotion. You get the promotion and that promotion comes in a package with a lot of responsibilities, chores and things you're not going to find yourself very thrilled into, um, into going with or a... Um, Winning a client that comes in a package with a lot of stipulations that you do find silly, stupid, etc., etc. But it's a client thing, and the client always has a right, always has a point. Uh, what my ex boss was saying to me. So, that being said, um, you definitely are going to enjoy the fact that you are to sit on a good achievement. Uh, you are going to have the um, luxury if you will or the opportunity to expand on those achievements 
but you're not gonna have the luxury of walking away from them so I do really hope Gemini that you really really wanted what you have worked for in terms of career development for what it seems uh, throughout at least this week and probably the next one you are gonna be stuck with it okay and everything else will have to wait that is pretty much what the nine of pentacles into the second position points <coughs> excuse me coronavirus um <laughs> i'm just joking um uh, what the nine of pentacles was uh is pointing here is that any leap into a whatever development that uh does not regard the enterprises you have worked thus far it will be a bit impossible doomed to failure and pretty much a lack of lucrivity as well uh, if you will so there is no point wasting your time in it that is just what the, the card points however the uh, world card into the third position it's a sign that your undertakings that took time that you are entering the week week the week with are going to be very successful and as well how can i say a quite demanding like again they will come the success will come with a package of new sets of responsibilities and new sets of chores that you will have to undertake now that will be a bit annoying at the start of the week at least and uh, along the way throughout the week itself but by the end of the week it seems that you're going to make your peace with it here having the temperance at the end and um, you're going to uh, the the making peace with the situation you're in it's not necessarily bad uh, because the peace that you do make through the temperance it is the peace where you do find a way how to tackle it on your own turf okay where the chores the annoying chores are no longer being annoying for numerous reasons um, most trivial of them it is that you know you have found a, a pleasant way to 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 tackling with them it's it's actually interesting a uh, this time around so the bottom line is that as you do enter in the week in a, some sort of a disbalance okay uh in between uh the way moving forward in the career uh, by the end of the week that balance is going to be restored once again now those that are a jobless for what it seems just the only thing that they do point it is the job most likely is going to be open for them but they have to start from the very bottom of the hierarchy if you will and work their way forward now should you start that job very important is to do mind your own business do not interfere with anybody else's there you're not there to make friends you're there to make money otherwise you're going to be stripped off for what it seems from those cards and laid off from the job uh, so that being said uh, Gemini this was your a uh, weekly general tarot readings in terms of love and career hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them guys and we may see each other next time until then bye